I've reviewed dozens of generators, but I've never seen one like this. This is the combination of a solar power station inside of a military grade case. And that gives you a portable power station that you can literally take anywhere. So in this video, I'm gonna put it through a series of tests, check what it can do, and see if it's a good value that you wanna consider for yourself. This is the Montec X1000 battery power station. Now, if you just look at the outside, this thing is designed to be rugged and be able to go anywhere you want. But good looks alone aren't gonna be enough to get you to consider this unit. So let's start by opening it up and see if any of that water got inside. Now, as I open up the lid and these side panels, I don't see any evidence of water getting past the seals. Now, I don't know if you could really submerge this, but in most practical situations, there are gonna be things like snow, rain, and I don't think you'll have any issues with water getting around those seals. The Montec is loaded with unique features. The case itself is pretty cool, and I love that they have this extra reinforcement on the hinges. Now, each of those doors and panels in the lid also have their own independent O-rings. Additionally, that display is one of the brightest I've ever seen. All of the buttons on the outside are waterproof, and they're also made of metal, even including the flashlight. This is one of my favorite features. You can actually store a solar panel inside the case itself. So if you're going to travel, this is ideal because now you can just grab one thing and you can generate power and store it, but you only have to deal with carrying a single item. Keep in mind inside this compact unit is a 1000 watt battery power station that has 1000 watt hours of running capacity. Now to get and use that power you've got to pull open that side door and now you can see your smart cooling fan along with all your ports. Now those can be used for things like cigarette lighters, you've got DC outputs, USB, even USB-C with an 100 watt port. That's pretty uncommon for a unit this compact and especially one that's weatherproof. Flip down the opposite panel, you'll see your AC outlets. Now those are rated for a thousand watts each, but additionally you'll see you have a built-in LED flashlight and the switch to turn the AC on and off. But if you notice, you have that weird space to the right, and that's even more clever because that's designed to hold your cables. It can store all three cables that come with the device. That's your AC charging cable, your cigarette lighter cable, and also your solar cable. Everything about this unit is unique, starting with how you can charge it. They've gotten rid of any type of power brick. This cord that's included just goes right into the AC input, and you can charge it up using any household outlet in about six hours. The DC input is where your options really open up, and I like they even put an O-ring on that cap to make sure that water stays out. Now they include a cigarette style plug that you just put into the DC port by aligning those two white dots so that you get it in correctly. Now you can just plug it into your car or anywhere else that you've got a cigarette plug and you can charge the unit that way. This is going to take you about 12 hours and it's not going to be ideal if the unit was empty, but for keeping it topped up while you're driving, this is an ideal option. But what if you want to charge this even faster when you're at home? Well, they have a couple of crazy ideas and this is one of them. It's an optional 400 watt power supply that you connect to the DC port and then you plug the other end into your regular household outlet. Now that alone will charge it in about three hours, but they've went a step further. You can also connect the AC charging cord at the same time. So now together, both of these items can charge the unit with 560 watts. That's an amazing amount of power and you can charge the unit to about 80% in just 1.6 hours. But that can really help you if you want to juice this thing up while you're at home. I also connected my heater to the device and I set it to the middle setting which is about 860 watts. And during this time I was able to also charge the unit so you can simultaneously use power while you're charging it up. And I also love how easy this display is to read and it's crystal clear. Montec says this unit can take up to 400 watts of solar input and up to 70 volts. So I wanted to verify that, but right now in Massachusetts, it's the middle of winter and it's really cloudy. So I'm gonna use this small solar simulator, which is basically just a power supply and connect it into the DC input using the solar cable. I was able to get my simulator up to about 52 volts and the Montec saw around 380 watts of solar input. So that gives me confidence that this unit will do the 400 watts of solar power. Montec has its own solar panels, but this will work with any other brand or type as long as the voltage and the wiring match up. 
Now power is good, but not if it's dirty or gonna cause your devices trouble. So what I've got here is some electrical test equipment that's gonna verify what type of power is coming out and how clean is it. Now when I run this meter, I can see by the sine wave that this is in fact putting out pure sine power, and that's exactly what they advertise. Another problem with some of these devices is electrical noise, sometimes called harmonics, but this meter can look at that and when I measured it, I saw only 2% noise. Now the power in your house is probably between 3 to 4%, so you're actually getting cleaner noise-free power on this device than you probably are at home. And what about the batteries themselves, because they're the very heart of the unit? Well, fortunately, they're lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide. That's a type of battery that will give you about 2,000 charge cycles, so it's a much longer life than many other types of batteries you can get today. Next test is gonna nerd out a little bit, but hear me out because it's important. They advertise this unit as having 1,010 watt hours of running capacity. That's basically how much gas you can put in your tank. But when I did my first test on the 12 volt cigarette plug, I only get 907 watt hours. Then I repeated the test using the AC outlets and I only got 873 watt hours. So if you're thinking you paid for 1,000 gallons of gas, but you only got 900 gallons, that doesn't sound like a very good deal, but it's actually a great deal. It's all about efficiency. All of these devices use a little bit of that battery capacity before they can deliver the power to you through those outlets, and that efficiency rating is what matters. So it is okay that you paid for 1,010 watt hours, but only got 907. That's actually giving you an efficiency rating of around 90%, and that's surprisingly good. I like to do the test on both ports because the AC outlets are the most popular used on a device like this. Finally, I wanted to do an overload test, and I'm not doing this to ruin the device. I wanted to simulate what you do in real life. Now, oftentimes you might run an appliance like a compressor that kicks up over the 1,000 watts this thing is able to put out. And I ran it at about 10% over its running capacity, and it just kept going and going. And after two minutes, I got bored. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to make sure that it doesn't have an immediate fault or shuts down. I didn't have any kind of problem like that whatsoever, and the unit was totally solid. Now you can already tell that I really like this unit, but here's one of the coolest parts of all. You can actually open it up. The other units on the market are pretty much impossible and you'd have to crack the case or cause other types of damage. Now this company's not recommending that you repair it, but at least it's nice to know that you can get in here down the road. And as we look inside, you see lots of good things. The batteries are actually encased in an aluminum frame. I see lots of metal parts. I like to see the sealants used on the different ports and wires because that helps with vibrations. This thing was absolutely awesome. It passed all of my tests. You could see the details and it really never let me down at all. Now the design alone would be enough reason for me to want to buy it, but the real reason is their introductory price. They're selling this for $549, which is absolutely phenomenal. It is through Indiegogo, but the delivery is only in about two months, so you won't be waiting a long time at all. But hopefully you found this video helpful. I tried to share a lot of detail so you could really see what goes into this device and make sure that it's right for you and that your money is well spent. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.